Hello. Today I'm going to share with you the Philianic version of the Anglican style of prayer beads. I have a set here at the end where the cross would be. I have a pentacle that is symbolic of the silver star of the waters. The next bead above that is the inventory bead. After that comes the first cruciform bead. From there you move on to the weak beads. Then you move on to the next cruciform bead, the next set of weak beads, the third cruciform bead, the next set of weak beads, the fourth cruciform bead, and then the final set of weak beads. When you return back to the beginning of the cycle, there is where you say a different set of prayers and your prayer session is done. Some people choose to do this for three iterations. We are only going to do one iteration today and I'm gonna not hold this up high because my arm is getting tired. There's gonna be a little bit of page flipping in the background because I don't have all of the prayers for this completely memorized even though I sat down and did the work to adapt it. I did this a while back and my brain's been kind of fried since COVID has come into our lives and raised my stress levels incredibly high. This has been a lifesaver though, because being able to turn to Dea and use prayer beads to help focus and center myself has really helped reduce my stress levels. It is my hope that in reciting this with you, it will serve to bear Dea's blessings unto you and it will help you if you decide you wish to take up this prayer practice, have a feel for how to do it. On the terminal medallion, this little tiny pretty little pentacle that I need to polish up because it's silver. Some choose to recite the Silver Star of the Waters prayer. I simply say, Hail Dea. Dea bless me. On the inventory bead, it is going to be two prayers. Oh dear, I'm about to drop the book. Eek. Real live TV on YouTube. The first prayer is the inventory prayer. O Dea, make haste to save us. O Lady, make haste to save us. Then recite the Gloria prayer. This Gloria prayer is very common across the rosary practices. There are minor alterations to it within the different Filianic traditions, but they all generally follow the same format. The Gloria prayer that I'm using is glory be to the mother, to the daughter, and Dea Mysterium, who was as it was in the beginning, and shall be unto the end of all worlds. You then come to the first cruciform bead. On the, each of the cruciform beads, you shall recite the same prayer. And that prayer is, Holy Dea, high and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. You now come to the weak beads. This prayer is very simple. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Now, when you get to the next cruciform bead, you have a choice. You can choose to insert the Gloria prayer, or you can move to the next cruciform prayer. We are going to move straight to the next cruciform prayer. That is, Holy Dea, High and Mighty, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us. Then we go back to the week's prayer. Lady Anna, Daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. 
Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Cruciform bead. Holy day, high and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Weak bead. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Cruciform bead. Holy Dea, high and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Weak beads. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Lady Anna, daughter of Maria, have mercy on us. Now we have come back to the first cruciform bead. Here, we recite the Our Mother prayer. This is not common throughout all branches of filiasm, but it is a well-known prayer. It's an adaptation of the Christian Our Father prayer. So we're going to say it now. Our Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed is thy name. Thy realm come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our errors, as we forgive they who err against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Finally, we come to the Terminus, which is the final prayer of the session, which is, Let us bless the Lady, thanks be to Dea. Now, you will notice, I am not in the habit of saying, So mote it be, blessed be, Amen, which translates to, thus may it be, or Amadea, after I say each prayer. This is a bit of a stumbling block on my part because I was raised in a household that didn't pray. The fact that I've gotten this far in my prayer life and I don't have thus may it be, or something similar attached at the end of the prayers, is something I'm working towards. You may see this as I proceed forward in my prayer life that I share with you here on YouTube and on my blogs. This would be added at the end of each prayer if you chose to do so, or you can add it at the end of your entire prayer session some people choose to do one cycle which we just did some people choose to do three cycles there are meditations associated with each of the weak beads um because there are seven beads you can for each bead focus on each of the greater janyati or the greater angels and as you are praying, ask for their blessing. Um, also, you can use the meditations from Orthodox Villainism, which is for the first part of the cycle, for the first week, it is Dea as the ground of all being. I have to check my notes. I apologize. And my goodness, there's quite a bit here. All right. Let's see. Week one, which I just mentioned. The mother is the ground of all being. This is identical to the mystery of the Orthodox Rosary first decade. Week two is the birth of the daughter again this is identical to the orthodox rosary this is the winter rosary mystery 
Week three is the resurrection of the daughter. In meditating upon the resurrection of the daughter, we skip the meditation upon the death of the daughter. But this can be incorporated into that particular meditation for those beads and just the entire story of the resur the death and resurrection of Anna. Week four is the union of the soul with Dea. You can also use these beads to focus strictly on Anna. And in doing so, you would meditate for your first part of the cycle upon the need of her presence and her birth. The second part of the cycle is her acts as princess of the world. The third part of the cycle is her acts as the sacrificial high priestess of the faith. The final weeks of the cycle is her as queen of heaven. This is a very well-structured set of prayers for focusing upon Our Lady. Um, next week, I will have a little bit long... Okay, it might be more than just a little bit longer video where I look at the Catholic style of rosary beads and I will do my best to try and get through that with you. Um, future content is going to be also including some heathenry related prayers. This is because I practice both Philianism and heathenry at the same time. It's weird, but I can explain it. <laughs> it's just not on today's topic. Maybe in next week's topic. We'll see. In the meantime, I hope that this helps. And I hope that you find peace and blessings in your prayer sessions and that they may be a comfort to you during the difficult times we are living. Dea bless.